All right, we're back with more FSD on the Cybertruck. And this time we're gonna test out end-to-end -end FSD on the highways. This is the first time they've shipped end-to-end -end FSD on any Tesla vehicle. It's here on Cybertruck first, so let's see how it does. Okay, let's give it a little kick to get started. Hate this bug, but it won't start driving. First, we're going to be making a left turn onto Lincoln Boulevard. Okay, got into the left turn there nicely. Behavioral characteristics are very similar to other FSD cars. I've noticed with 12.5 it doesn't go on the green light right away. Kind of checks to make sure it's clear. This car is exhibiting all the same behaviors. We're going to be driving one mile, then turning left onto Olympic Boulevard. Crossing Wilshire Boulevard. Stop. Stopping for yellow. One thing I've noticed is look at the cars in the visualization. Is it just me or are they moving a lot more smoothly? They are. Like that turn that yeah. guy did, that was very smooth. Yeah. It's not jack, like, it's not jerky. Yeah, jerky at all. It does have an AMD processor in it. Yeah. well to him coming in the lane a bit. Mm 
Yeah, so in the old visualization, or in even in the Model 3, you kind of see the cars moving back and forth a little bit. Like it's unsure about their exact position. Now if you look at the visualization, it's just one smooth movement of the other cars. Which definitely, you know, the visualization is important in instilling confidence. When it's showing things jumping all over the place, that doesn't reassure people. All right, so time to get on to the 10. It's getting into the left lane. And we should be able to get onto the 10 East from here. We're gonna take the 10 East onto the 405 South. Come on, let's make this light. Move it, people, come on. Nicely done. Nice. Very good turn. Yeah. Great. I was a little concerned it might not, uh, might go over into the other lane or something, but no, nope, nailed it. All right, we're merging onto the 10 now, and you'll notice that auto speed does now stay on on the highway. It is a checkbox. You can turn off auto speed and still set the speed yourself if you want to, but you're no longer seeing auto speed turn off on the highway. Right now it is going 58, which is way too slow for any LA freeway. And it's, nice. Yeah, certainly. And it's it's driving in the far right lane, something I've noticed it doing. The speed limit's 65, that's kind of the minimum speed. Really you need to be going 75, 80 uh, on the 10 at this hour. So, Auto speed is driving too slow for the highways. What if you take it out of chill mode? I know it doesn't have speed. Oh, right. Yet. Yeah, that's just, I think it's because it's in uh, comfort. Let's see, maybe that left difference. Not really, it's still, cool. okay, man. well, we're picking up speed here. Not an upstate for sure yet. I mean, it, it is also trying to get onto the 405, so it could just be staying on the right side for that, I don't know. But, yeah, seems like it's go just going a little slow. Okay, now we're 64. Nice. <laughs> yeah, especially at night, if you're not doing 75, you're gonna get around the road. Yeah, it's, it's not correct. But it is very smooth and comfortable. You don't mind that you're going way slower than you should. It's a nice ride. But it is matching the speed of the cars in front of us. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's sort of cute. It's not going unnaturally slow. It's not going, and it's also not going full Ultima down the right lane, so. Yeah. But, uh,. I feel like I'll probably be turning auto speed off on the highway and just setting the speed myself. So that might be good to test. Is it still 85 max? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Probably. Okay, that was good. I didn't see that car. And it did. Oh, it just missed the highway exit. Oh my god. That was a late there, buddy. Do that was a little crazy, but it made it. <laughs> I mean, it did go full Ultima after all, so <laughs> wanted to go full Ultima. I needed to jump the car. You know, I'll count it. I'll count it. But no, it should have obviously changed lanes much earlier than that. But there was kind of that guy coming, so to be and honest, thing also wanted to match our speed. To be honest, Zach, that's exactly what humans do yeah. when they realize they're missing the, the off-ramp. I mean, we're not lying when we say it's human-like. 
yeah, exactly. <laughs> they trained it on my driving, and that's what came out. A little slow there. It's the Rav 4 had to cut it. It's way too slow for any LA freeway. I mean, I don't know. The other uh, car doesn't drive this slow. Yeah. And that's probably just part of the end-to-end -end on highway being new, but yeah. If this is how it is, most people are going to have to turn auto speed off. But I don't know. Let me, let me give it a try again during the day and stuff. Before we get off the highway, we should see if, uh, what the max speed is. Yeah. Okay, why don't we, probably still why don't we do that? Turn off the auto speed. Yeah, 85. Uh, praying for 90. All right, we've got an exit for Culver Boulevard in half a mile now. So we're gonna have to take that exit off the 405 here. It's making a lane change, but there's a car approaching. So decided not to, now it's going for it. Very quick decision making after it's not a pass. Yeah. And here's the exit coming up. We got Washington Boulevard, then Culver Boulevard. And, okay, yeah. This looks like the right lane to exit. And it got to the exit successfully, nice. Oh God. Oh god, no. A little trouble with that accident. Mm. Didn't take off ramp correctly. Felt like it was going to hit the rail. Not ready for Kim Kardashian yet. No. But ready for me. Oh, I'd love to have this once I get a cyber truck. Mm -hmm. All right, we're less than five minutes away, 1.7 miles. Oh. All right, we're in the left turn lane, it's getting out. mile an hour speed limit going 35 listen if you're the person who works on auto speed this may be acceptable in Milwaukee to go 36 in a 40 in LA the speed limit is the minimum speed it's a suggestion <laughs> under no circumstances should you be going under the speed limit unless we're literally about to run someone over or in traffic yeah there's two speeds in LA. It's either zero in traffic. Yeah. Or when there's no traffic, it's 20 over. Yeah, exactly. There is no in between. And you're just going to drive people crazy. I mean, there's way too many Teslas in LA for, you to, for any of them to be going under the speed limit. You can't run off the road here. 
man, for first first iteration yeah. going to the public, this is pretty yeah. great. I have to say I'm impressed. Despite some big mistakes, clearly not ready to go wide yet, but 100%. overall very impressive, very similar to FSD on other cars. It's able to make really tight lane changes. We didn't see it on this drive, but uh, it's got some pretty impressive capabilities and overall it's FSD. That's my verdict. It's FSD just like on any other Tesla. So it used to be this was a decision maker for people when they were buying a Tesla. It's like, ah, Cybertruck doesn't have FSD yet. Now that's no longer a consideration. All of them will run FSD just the same. If anything, I think this thing will probably be even better at time because the higher camera position is probably better for FSD. And the front bumper camera. For yeah, the front bumper camera it has, yeah. I think once they just do a few tweaks, it made it had a couple mm -hmm. bugs as expected, but once this goes wide and has fully polished, it's going to be great. Yeah. I can tell this is going to be, it's already a godsend for long drives. And, uh, you know, no other pickup truck really has anything close, obviously. Before someone says Blue Cruise, it does, Blue Cruise does not do city streets. <laughs> and they pre-mapped highways for hands-free. Yeah. I mean, just... When you need your truck, when you have to haul something, when you need the extra space, it doesn't have to be in a manually driven ICE car anymore. You can take a Tesla with FSD and charge it at home. And that's a new option that's great to have for people who need a truck. All right, coming up to our destination now, about 0.1 miles away, we're making a right turn over here. There are quite a few cones. So let's see if it can nestle through without knocking any cones over. Nicely done. Very smooth, nice and warm And here's our destination. Some random, some random point. And uh, it's gonna pull over. We won't knock out those trash cans. Perfect. Nice. Really well done. There you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll have more tests soon.